my name is uh, Henry Emfrey, and this is a game development tutorial that teaches how to create uh, animations in Play Canvas. You know, instead of just having a cube move around, animations are very important. Animations are what makes a game more immersive. You know, it's important to you know give the appearance of let's say a character walking around. You know, actually moving their arms and legs or give the appearance of a character attacking someone or uh, or whatever. I mean, imagine Mario not having the appearance of uh, jumping or running or whatever. You know, that would make a dull game. And I feel that game tutorial sets are incomplete if they don't teach animations. Whether it's a tutorial regarding how to create a game in a game engine or a game tutorial about how to um, uh, make a game using a programming language. So, so that's very important. I like to make my characters inside of a uh, of an online program called Autodesk Character Generator. It's a it's an online program that allows you to make your characters inside of your browser, uh, just like kind of like a you know Play Canvas. You know, you get to make your games. All in your browser. Well, uh, on Autodesk Character Creator, you get to um, make your character all in your browsers. You know, I tend and you know it. You know, I tend to like those um, web browser uh, programs because they're really needed. And, um, it makes it so I, I don't have to carry my computer around. Uh, I can just go anywhere where there's an internet connection and just uh, get to work. Um, so, you know, some people like also like the program called uh, Make Human, and there's also another program called Adobe Fuse. Uh, those two programs are also free. Um, it's just whatever your preference is. Some people like to construct their own characters in a program called maybe Blender uh, or or Wings 3D. For the sake of uh, keeping this video. As uh, short as possible. Uh, I won't go into too much uh, details about the different programs. Uh, there are all kinds of tutorials uh, throughout the web that shows you how to uh, make your character in one of those programs, whether it's Blender, uh, Wings 3D, and they also show you how to rig those characters uh, uh, to have them animated. But uh, I'm going to take the fast route and um, do my um, character generation in a, this program called Autodesk. In Autodesk Character Creator, it allows you to construct things like the face. For example, uh, over here on this right side, you have a, a, a list of options. Uh, let's say you want a character with a, maybe a bigger head, or or a character with a, a, a muscle head, or even a goofy-looking character. Well, in this program. All you gotta do is just um, pick uh, pick the character that you want. I'm going to pick this goofy head here, and I'm just gonna drop and drag him there. And then I'm going to um, um, just uh, click this X here, right? Left click this X here, and then you'll see that. Um, after that, on this left side, your, uh, the character that you pick would manifest on this side. And then you will find the same thing works uh, if you want to choose the body type. You know, you just uh, click here. And uh, after that, it'll, uh, over here, it'll give you the uh, different options of what types of body that uh, you would like to have. So uh, if you uh, pick a body, uh, you can just... Um, uh, let's say this one, you can just uh, pick it up, drop and drag it, and then get rid of this one. And then over here, uh, you'll find that uh, the uh, body that you chose over here is uh, now manifesting uh, in this uh, panel right here. So uh, that's basically how the program works. I mean, you can do the same thing with the eyes, same thing with the... Um, the hair. Uh, let's make him some new clothes. So you click here, and on this right side, you have uh, various options for clothes. 
right now I'm um he he's wearing this um this a sweater. I guess that's a I don't know it's a girl sweater, but whatever. But uh, it, it, whenever you choose one, you just uh, double click on um the one that you uh, want. When you see uh when you see it says in use in this uh left panel here, you'll see that's what he's wearing. And like I said, you can do the uh do the same thing. Uh, you can change your skin, and it, it works the same way. Uh, uh, you have uh, various skin tones over here. You can also choose whether you want them to be male or female. And you have uh, various options. Uh, you know, if you if you wanted the female character, you know, whether you can change the hair the same way, uh, etc., etc. So, so just play around with the program, and uh, you know, kind of see what you can come up with. Uh, it's, it's pretty uh, easy program to use, and um, and uh, and a lot of things, a lot of these different buttons work just work the same way. Uh, you know, it's just drop and drag, or sometimes you just gotta uh, double click on us, uh, what you want. So that's kind of how the program works. Um, that's just the basics. And then after you after you're done um, creating your character, uh, over here on this left side in on the bottom uh, bottom uh, right corner, just click finish. I'm not going to do that because I've already created I created my character. So so after you click the uh, finish and click the uh, OK box that appeared uh, in the in the box that appeared. Um, you then see this um, this uh, little box right here, which uh, has constructed your character. And when you're ready to download it, just click character uh, generated character, and then uh, click this uh, download button right here. And um, and I usually like this uh, to um, save uh, everything to my desktop, so. Um, you can just uh, and I, I I clicked on my uh, play canvas folder and um, just uh, after that I just uh, hit the save button and it'll download a zip file. So uh, after you do that, um, you can just uh, you can go ahead and just uh, minimize this um, this program.